It's Ryan here from Syntax Byte, and in this video, I'm going to teach you how to use Vue.js components by creating a simple to do application. And, and at the end of this video, you will have learned how to create and display components, you will have learned how to pass data to components, and how to emit and respond to events from components. Okay, so let's get right into it. So, all I have here is a simple HTML template. I've gone ahead and I've included the Vue.js library with that script tag there. So if you find that the code in this video is not working, please make sure that you have that script tag. Also in the body, I've created a div with an ID of app and that's where we are going to hook Vue.js onto. So our entire app is going to be contained within this div, within the body, and I just have a header there. And we can see what that looks like on the page right now. Okay, going down to where I have our app here. So what do we need to do? We need to start by creating our root view instance like we always have. So we're going to go ahead and create new view and we're going to pass it an object with element and that of course is going to be app and data. Now in here I'm going to go ahead and put an array called to do's okay? and that's going to start off as an empty array but inside of our root view instance is where we're going to have all of the to do's that we're storing in the app. Okay. And that's all we need for that. Now we need to go ahead and create a component. So there's two ways to create a component. You can assign it to a variable and then in the view instance that you want to use the component in, you can have a components object that tells you about those components. But the easier way to do it is just to use a global component. So that's what we're going to do in this video. So the way that we create a global component is by calling view.component and we can give that a name. So in this case, the first component that I'm going to create is the form for the to-do app. So where the text box is and the add button is, that's going to be one component. So I'm going to go ahead and call it uh, to-do form. Okay and then we're going to pass an object like we always have. Now, uh, instead of attaching it to an element, with a component what you're going to do is have a template. So I'm going to have a template string and inside of that template string I'm going to have my form. Input type is going to be text for the first one. Okay. And we're going to use vmodel to attach this to a variable. So I'm going to call that new to do. And we'll cover that more in a minute here. So if you're confused, don't worry about it. I'm going to go ahead and make a plus here just to concatenate on the string. And then we are going to have our next element is of course going to be the button. So form or sorry, input type equals submit. And I'm going to give that a value, so some text to be displayed on the button. I'm going to give that a value of add. Okay, and we can go ahead and close out our form. Now the last thing uh, that we need to do here is, first of all, add a comma. But in this component, we need to have a data value. And now the interesting thing about doing components is, as you see down here, when we did when we did data, we simply had an object and we gave it to dos, and that was an array. That's all well and good when you're in the root view instance, but if you're in a component, if you do that and then you try and use the component twice, what's going to end up happening is that your components are going to share the same data object and the components won't be able to function independently of each other they'll keep messing up each other's data so you definitely don't want that so what we can do to get around that is by making data a function that returns an object so it's a little bit convoluted to look at but just know that when you're working components data has to be a function that returns an object okay and inside of that we can go ahead and make new to do and of course that's going to start off as an empty string perfect 
So now we can go ahead and render our to do form just by making it look like a regular HTML tag. But Vue will go ahead and take care of putting our actual template where that to do form tag is. So now let's go ahead and refresh the page and see what we get. Perfect. We get our to do form. But now right now it's it's not actually going to it's not actually going to do anything. So we've learned how to display components, but we haven't learned how to make them do anything. So the next thing that I'm going to show you guys how to do is how to actually uh, emit events from your components so that the root the root view instance can respond to those events. Okay. Perfect. So what we want to do is on form we want to say at submit dot prevent. Okay. And we're going to tell that to be um, to do event. Okay. I'm just going to call that to do event. So when the form is submitted, the dot prevent means that we are going to prevent the default action of the form. And then we are going to call a method called to do event. So now we need to create that method. So after data, we are going to have a methods object. And in there, we are going to have a method called to do event, which is actually technically a function. Okay. So to do event, in to do event, we aren't going to take any parameters because we are going to end up using our data object new to do. So what we want to do is we want to do this dot emit. This is going to allow us to emit an event that our root view instance can respond to. So we don't actually want to change the to do's um, in our root view instance because that would closely couple the component with the root view instance and then we wouldn't be able to reuse it. So we just want to simply let that the root view instance or whoever's using this component know that hey a to do was added here's the text of the to do and then we want to let that part of the application deal with it. We just want to say, hey, this happened. I uh, don't know if you want to deal with it or not, but you can if you want to. So we're going to emit an event and we're going to call this to do created. And then we are going to pass it this dot new to do. OK, so keep in mind that earlier we declared. I'm sorry, it went a little off the screen here. But earlier we did declare with v dash model that the text contained within this form would be bound to the new to do uh, piece of data that we have here. So we're going to go ahead and pass that in because remember when they press the button there's going to be some text there. And so they press the button so we want to go ahead and pass the text that was there uh, over to the user of our component. And then we also want to remove that text and clear it up for uh, the to do box to be used again. And so that is our full application. We can go ahead and refresh. We could try this again. We could say this to do. And if we hit enter, it does clear the box, but nothing happens because nothing's responding to this event. We're sending it out, we're calling to the world, but nothing is uh, receiving our calls. Okay. So now we want to um, receive the calls. So in order to do that, on this to do form, I'm going to say at. And again, at just means that you are responding to an event. So at the time that to do created happens, or sorry, we want to call, I'm going to call it the add to do. Uh, method. Now that is going to be a method on our root view instance. So methods, we need to create that. So add to do is going to be a function. And add to do is actually going to take to do. And that is going to be uh, what is passed in there. 
and then to do's is an array so all we have to do is just say this dot to do's dot push that will put the new to do on the array to do and we don't have to do anything else we don't have to worry about clearing the form or anything because that is all done in the view component because it's only really the view component that needs to worry about that the rest of our app doesn't care right it doesn't care all the rest of our app cares about is hey there's a new to do added what do we want to do about it okay so perfect that is gonna happen now okay so if we refresh the page still nothing is gonna happen we can go and say this to do and yes it clears but we don't have anything to display the to-dos. So for that, we need another component that we're going to pass the data to. So I'm going to go ahead and create another view component. So again, view.component, it's exactly the same, guys. Anything you want to create, we're going to give it a different name. I'm going to call it to-do list, OK? And again, we're going to pass it an object. And again, it's going to have a template. So we have template here. This time the template is going to show an unordered list and it's going to loop through all the items in the to-do list that we give it and then it's going to display them in that list. So we're going to have an unordered list tag, we're going to have an li tag and in that li tag we're going to say v4. So for every to-do in to-dos and to-dos is going to be a list that we're going to pass to this component we want to print out to do and we want to close the li and we want to close the ul perfect all right perfect absolutely perfect now we also need to have a props uh, key here now what is a prop a prop is essentially a piece of data that we pass to a component props are one way so you pass props to components components will not modify props and components will not use props to pass information back to their parents so the parent in this case our root view instance or just our app is passing the to-do list to the to-do list but the to-do list will never pass anything back if the to-do list wanted to say um, let our parent app know that a to-do had been deleted, it would need to use an event and the parent would need to take care of that uh, on its own. So components are never going to modify props, but they will uh, use the data from them. And props is just simply an array. So we could just say we have an array and the only prop that this component is going to take is going to be to-dos. We don't actually need any data objects because our data is being passed in as a prop, okay? So now, there's one last step we need to do. We need to go ahead and put this to-do list on the page. So, to-do list, oh, my bad, to-do list. And we're gonna go ahead and use the colon or vbind, <coughs> excuse me v bind to bind to do's and that's going to be equal to to do's because in our root view instance we also called it to do's so it's a little bit confusing because we have to do's in different scope you can name them different if you want so for instance in to do list you can name it to do list to do's but I find it most simple just to name it to do's and then uh, we're gonna send it to do's we'll go ahead and close off the tag there and we will be done with our little application so go ahead and refresh the page nothing shows up because we don't have any list items right now so then we go and say hello and boom there we go perfect so that's how you use view components to create a simple to-do list app it's a great way to get familiar with components, so I really encourage you guys to try this out. The full source will be in the description. Please like the video if you found it helpful, and definitely subscribe to the channel, guys. I have more great content just like this coming. And if you found this video helpful and you've gone ahead and created the app on your own, my challenge to you would be this app currently has a bug. If I just hit enter, we can see that we get to-do items being created. I could hit the add button as well. We get to-do items being created. 
there's nothing there. So as a challenge to you guys, see if you can fix that bug, and I'll catch you guys next time. It's been Ryan from Syntax Bite.